Namaste and welcome to this yoga routine for people on a wheelchair or people who are not able to move their legs or stand or seniors or really any person who would like to practice yoga while sitting down and mostly who is unable to use their legs actively as we will not be doing any leg work with the muscles um, or really using our strength from the waist down at all. So first, once you're settled, really arrive here. Close your eyes and let go of everything that has happened so far. Let go of your day, let go of any tension you might be feeling in your mind or body. Take a deep inhale with me through the nose and then sigh it out through the mouth. Ha! <sighs> let it go. Once more like that. Inhale deeply in and let it all go and sigh it out. Ha! <sighs> Beautiful. You can keep your eyes closed and the first thing I would like to explain to you is that in this yoga routine, everything that I'm saying is really just guiding you, but you do not need to do anything if it doesn't feel right for you, if it doesn't feel good, and if you do not want to do it. Please, please listen to your body, be aware of anything that doesn't feel right, and pay attention to that and really honor it. Okay, so follow your body and what it's saying to you. Trust your own wisdom and your own intuition. So with that being said, I will also offer modifications for most of the poses that we will be doing so that you can find what feels right for you and what you are able to do in this moment. So again, with your eyes closed, let's take a few more deep breaths and this time feel the air going all the way down to your low belly. If you want, you can bring one or both hands there to your low belly and feel as the air expands your belly and pushes your hands out when you inhale and when you exhale, your belly goes in towards the spine. Two more like this. Inhale, breathe deeply into your belly and keep your shoulders relaxed. And exhale, let the belly come back in. Beautiful. Once more, and this time feel the air, fill your belly, and then continue up and fill your ribs and your chest expands. Shoulders relaxed. And exhale, the air leaves the chest, leaves the ribs and leaves the belly. Beautiful. Now you may open your eyes and pay attention to your posture. So try to feel yourself grounded on the chair, your sitting bones pressing down, your hips heavy. And from this rooted place, feel a lift from your pelvis and your low belly that lifts you and makes you tall all the way up to the crown of your head. So you are stacking your shoulders over your hips and your, ri your ribs are exactly in the middle. Your back is not arching and it's also not rounding. You're finding this middle point that feels supported and tall and relaxed at the same time. So grow really tall. And from this tall posture and grounded posture, remember, we have this balance between our hips and sitting bones rooting us down 
making us stable. And then the crown of the head really growing tall, making us tall and free and open. So from there, let's inhale the arms up and down. So this will depend on how much mobility you have in your arms. If you're able to lift both arms, please do all the exercises as I suggest them. But if not, if you're only able to lift one arm or halfway, please honor that and just modify according to your needs. So remember, I will be giving instruction for both arms, but you do what's right for you. So inhale, open the arms up as you inhale and get tall and look forward and exhale, bring the arms down as if you had resistance through the air and the chin down towards the chest. One more time, inhale, open the arms, palms up, stretch up and grow tall and exhale, stay just as tall as you bring the arms down, shoulder blades down the back with resistance and stretch down. Once more, inhale the arms up, open, stretch and enjoy it. And once you're up, if you want, you can grab one hand with the other one, flip the palms and stretch even taller here. Now here, don't compress the neck, but keep the shoulders down the back and towards each other. So shoulders down and back as you stretch the wrists, the arms, the forearms. You can close your eyes here to really listen and find the way that your body wants to be stretched right now. Keep breathing. And on an exhale, slowly rain the fingertips down. Beautiful. Now we will do a side bend. So for this, you have several options. So the first one is you can grab onto the chair if you have handles on the sides with one hand. So grab onto the chair with your right hand is the first option. The second option you can grab onto the opposite hip. So right hand grabs onto the left hip and pushes it down. And the third option is you grab onto the outer thigh. You can try all three options to see what feels best for you. And if you are not able to move one of your arms or to really control them, you can just let it rest normally as you do the side bend. So you find your preferred option here onto the chair, on the hip, on the thigh, or just resting that arm. And then you're gonna take the opposite arm, so the left arm, and stretch it up again with the breath. Inhale, overhead, and bend sideways. Keep breathing here and feel a stretch from this grounded left hip all the way through your side body, shoulder, arm, onto the fingertips. Stretch your whole side body and make sure you're not tensing the neck and breathe there. From there, on an exhale, bring that arm back down and you're going to start twisting, not from the low back, but from the belly button. Twist to your left side and you can bring this other arm here. You can leave it on the chair handle or you can put it behind toward your low back or even behind the chair if that feels good to you. And using the strength of your core, not pushing too much, find a twist that you can open your chest in, keep the shoulders and the collarbone open and make sure you can keep breathing evenly and steadily here.
one more breath. Inhale fully. And exhale and slowly return to center. Now we'll do the other side. So you take your left hand and either you leave it just resting or you can bring it onto the chair handle or you can bring it onto that right hip to push it down, make sure it stays grounded or onto the outer part of your right thigh. So whichever option you pick, ground your hips down and then inhale and lift the right arm up and out. Enjoy the stretch and then find your version of the side bend. Make sure you can breathe and don't tense the neck here. Find that stretch from the right hip all the way through your side body and shoulder and arm until the fingertips. Take one more breath, inhale. And on the exhale, slowly bring that arm back down and begin twisting from here. Breathe into your twist and remember, stay grounded through both sitting bone, both hips and twist from the belly button up, not from the low back. Make sure you can keep the chest open, the collarbone open, the neck relaxed and the arm, that right hand can be on the chair handle or resting or even behind the chair or on your low back. Find what feels good for you. Use the arms to support you, but make sure you're also using your core and back strength. Take one more breath into this twist. Inhale. And exhale. Great, slowly return to center. From here, we will arch and round our backs. In yoga, this is called cat-cow. So the cow posture, again, you can have your hands wherever they feel good to you. Make sure you keep them in one place, but relaxed. So do not tense up the fingertips. We roll the shoulders forward, up and back. And using that back, movement of the shoulders, we're going to open the chest and arch the back. You can look a little bit up, but don't let the head fall back, okay? Just look up slightly, but still to the front in a way that you can find an opening here as well on the collarbone and chest and neck, and your back is arched. So I'll sit here sideways so you can see it better. So we are inhaling and opening our chest, shoulders, back and down. Arching here, keep breathing. This is the cow posture. And for the cat posture, we're going to do the opposite. So we bring the belly button into the spine. We tuck the tailbone. So that means the low back is not arched, but is going in like this. And the chest is also going in. We're rounding the shoulders, opening the shoulder blades away from each other and letting the chin fall towards the chest like this. So you can find your version of the rounding, which feels good. The important thing is that you find a stretch all along your back, your upper back, mid back, and even the low back. So find that stretch. You can stay still or you can move a little bit side to side to find your stretch. Keep breathing there. And once you have those two stretches, we're going to alternate. So we're going to inhale, arching the back in cow pose, opening the chest, shoulders back and down stretch 
and exhale round the back chest in belly button in shoulders rounded stretching the whole back body inhale again open the chest stretch the collarbone the chest the belly and exhale round and stretch the back body and in between the shoulder blades and the back of the neck once more inhale open arch cow pose and exhale round the back to cat pose you can feel free to pause the video and repeat it a few more times and now i will suggest something to you only if it is accessible so that is a forward fold so if you're not able to do this please continue repeating that cat and cow but if you're able you may try inhaling lifting the arms up and then exhale as you bring the arms down you're going to start folding forward over your legs like this and relaxing your arms okay so that's option one there are many options for doing this so another option would be to keep your arms here on the chair or on the chair handles or on your thighs and only fold forward a little bit and then relaxing the neck and rounding the back there okay another option would be to grab onto your legs with the hands to support yourself in folding a little bit deeper and then as another option you can keep the hands on the chair for support as you fold completely down and then the more advanced version would be to actually relax the arms down so find what you're able to do listen to your body and breathe there wherever you are one more deep breath inhale and exhale as you slowly support yourself and come up well done once you arrive take a few shoulder rolls inhale the shoulders forward up and back down the back once more inhale forward up and back and now we'll stretch the neck so begin letting your chin fall towards your chest keep that tall posture we rehearsed at the beginning of the class so ground your sitting bones down into the chair and the crown of your head towards the ceiling shoulders relaxed down and back and from there let your chin fall towards the chest keeping that tall posture and feel a stretch along the upper back and the back of the neck breathe there inhale and exhale now slowly begin to do these half moon circles so you begin turning your head to the side only until your neck is here sideways don't go back so just stay here and find an opening and slowly bring it back down and to the other side enjoying the stretch of the neck slowly keep going like this chin down and moving the neck from side to side opening it and you may close your eyes here to really find those spots that have the most tension and staying there maybe a little bit longer
keep breathing evenly. Beautiful. Slowly, chin to chest, and then lift the neck back up. And now you may try the side neck stretches with me. If this feels good, if not, you can continue the neck rolls. So bring the right ear to the right shoulder, towards the right shoulder, and let it fall sideways while your face is still facing forward. I'm not looking down or looking up. So let that ear fall towards the shoulder. And if you want more, you may stretch the opposite arm out. So in this case, the left arm out or here on the chair or out like this. That can be quite intense for the arm too. So listen to your body. And if you want even more, you can let that right hand rest on the head. Take another breath here. Inhale and exhale. Now begin turning the head and looking down towards your armpit to find a different angle of that side stretch for the neck. Again, this opposite hand can be resting or out. And take another breath here in this angle of the stretch. Inhale into the neck and exhale from the neck. Exhale all the tension out. Great. Slowly bring the head back to center and we go to the other side. Let the left ear fall towards the left shoulder gently, staying tall, staying grounded through the sitting bones and breathing into the side of the neck. If you'd like to intensify the stretch, you may bring that right hand onto the chair handle or out like this, which can be quite intense as well for the arm. Wherever you are, breathe. And if you want even more, you can bring the left arm and let it rest on the head without pushing. Take one more breath, inhale and exhale. Slowly begin turning your head, looking towards the armpit, finding that angle of the stretch on the side and back of the neck. And take two breaths here, inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale into the neck. And exhale it out. Great. Keep moving the chin towards the chest. And then lift the neck. Take one shoulder roll. Shoulders forward, up and back. Now we'll stretch the hands and the chest. So you can bring your arms forward like this and the fingertips down, like thriller arms. If this is not much of a stretch, make sure you keep, um, I'll be on the side to show you better. Make sure you keep bringing the fingers towards you down like this. We're trying to find a stretch in the tops of the forearms. If you still don't feel it, you can use the opposite arm if you're able to, to move that palm towards you. And that arm is straight, the arm that you're stretching. So you can take a few breaths here or in the other stretch, we'll take two breaths here together. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale and exhale and the other side. Bring in the palm towards you, arms straight, inhale, exhale, keep the shoulders relaxed, stay tall. Once more, inhale and exhale. 
Now we'll bring the palms up. So fingertips up, arms straight if possible, and really pushing them back to stretch the underside of the forearm this time. Again, you can stay here, or if you want more, you can also bring the fingers back. I'll do it like this with you. You can choose your own version. So let's take one breath on each side. Inhale deeply into the form and exhale the tension out. And the other side, palm up, bringing those fingers back if you want. Arms straight, shoulders relaxed. Inhale into the forearm and exhale great and now with those palms up like this we're going to open the arms out to feel a stretch in our chest and biceps and forearms keep bringing the arms back as the palms are up if this is too intense for your forearms you can keep them relaxed and just open back with the chest and instead you can bring the palms forward 90 degree bend at the elbow and open the chest this way so you have two options you can open it like this or like this with the fingers up one more breath wherever you are inhale and exhale Beautiful, relax it down. You can shake the hands if you want. Now we'll try a shoulder stretch and a tricep stretch. So bring the right arm in front of you straight if possible. And grab onto that arm above the elbow with the left hand and bring it into your body while keeping that shoulder down until you feel a stretch along the right shoulder. Take one full breath here. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Other side, bring the left arm in front of you straight. Keep the shoulder down, relaxed. And hold with the right hand above the elbow to stretch that left shoulder. Take one deep breath, inhale and exhale here. Great, bring the arms down and the last stretch for the arms. You're going to bring the right hand above your head if possible and then bend at the elbow so that your hand is close to your upper back so not on the neck if possible but lower like this so if you are able to use both arms then you can take the opposite hand and hold that elbow back and down in order to stretch that tricep Another option, if you're not able to use the opposite arm of this, of this stretch, you can just use the head to push back a little bit into that forearm. And actually, one is able to stretch quite deeply just using the weight of the head, pushing back into the forearm to open the tricep and the side of that shoulder. So. Find your stretch, take one more breath, inhale and exhale. Great, bring the arm down and the other side. Last stretch for the arms. Bring that left arm up and bend at the elbow. Make sure the hand is resting on the upper back if possible. And again, you can use that opposite arm and bring the elbow back and down. 
or you can even let go of that opposite arm and simply use your head pushing back against that forearm to open into the side of the shoulder and the left tricep. So find your version and your stretch. Keep breathing. We take one more breath here together. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Bring the arm down. And now I will give you an option of two stretches involving the legs in case you can do them. If you're not able to do them, that's fine. Just skip to the next exercise or you can try those cat and cow, that nice chest opening and back opening as well if you're not able to do these. But if you're able to, you don't need to use leg strength. Actually, we're using arm strength. So the first stretch will bring that right leg onto the chair. So you can use your arm strength to lift the right leg and if possible, put the foot onto your chair. So see if that's possible for you. If you put the foot onto the chair, then I want you to just hug that knee into your chest while you stay tall and breathe into that right hip flexor and into that right leg. Just breathe there. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Breathe into the hip. One more inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. And if this was possible for you, I'm going to give you another stretch for the hip. So you grab onto that leg with the right hand and then with the left hand, you grab the foot and you put the ankle onto the opposite thigh. So the right ankle onto the left thigh into this kind of figure four stretch. And here, this may be enough. Maybe you already feel a stretch. But if you don't feel um, any stretch here on the legs, you may arch the back like in that cow position, like this, and lean forward a little bit. And if you're not able to um, have feeling in your legs, then maybe you can still feel this stretch in your low back because our hips are very much connected to our low back. So arch the back and maybe lean forward a little bit to feel that and release any tension from the hip. And again, even if you cannot feel it, this is still beneficial for you for circulation and many other things. So if you're able to do it, try it. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, and then lean back. Grab the thigh again with both hands and release the thigh slowly onto the floor. We'll try the other leg. So using your hands, lift your left thigh up and maybe you're able to put that left foot onto your chair. If you are, then grab onto that leg with both hands and hug it into the chest. Stay tall, chest open, shoulders back and down and breathe into that left hip flexor and into that left leg. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale, release any tension. One more inhale here. And exhale. Beautiful. And if you were able to do it on the other side, then let's try that figure four stretch. So for that, grab onto that leg with your left hand and with the right hand, grab the foot 
and turn that knee out to rest the ankle on the opposite thigh for this figure four stretch. Here, if this feels unstable, you can also grab onto that ankle um, with the right hand. I forgot to say that on the other side. Um, so if this is enough of a stretch for you, just breathe there. If you'd like to feel more, then arch the back like in that cow position and lean forward a little bit and breathe into that left hip, the outer thigh and the low back. Let's take three breaths here together. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Enjoy this breath. Inhale. And exhale. Great, slowly come back, grab onto that thigh with both hands and slowly bring that leg and foot back down. Great, so we are done with all our stretches. You can take any little movements you want that are left that your body may be asking you to do like a shoulder roll or another side stretch or another little twist or maybe bringing the arms up again and stretching just find what feels good for you and listen to what your body wants to do or maybe your body just wants to be still and rest so listen for that you can pause the video and do any other movements you may want to do and if you want to end the practice here with me then let your hands rest let the palms face up, shoulders back and down. Stay tall and grounded through the sitting bones, growing tall through the crown of the head. And close your eyes. Don't control your breath anymore. And now thank yourself for having done this practice today. Thank yourself for having done something so good for your body and mind. For taking care of yourself. For listening. For having the courage to show up and do your best. Please know that you can return to this practice over and over again. You can skip some parts, repeat some parts, and do it as often as it feels good to you, as often as you feel called to do it. This practice is here for you to support you and to connect you to your own wisdom. To the wisdom of your body and your heart. Thank yourself for having done this practice today. However it went, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you showed up and that you listened. I bow to you in gratitude for having done this practice and for having chosen me to be your guide today. Please leave me a comment, let me know how it went and let me know of any other requests you have for yoga classes and videos you would like to see. And if you want to, then please subscribe to my channel. This really helps me keep making free yoga videos for everyone here on YouTube. Thank you so much. Namaste.